Hello and welcome. It's been a long while, hasn't it? Yeah, it's two and a half months and I'm finally back behind the wheel of a truck where I belong. For how long? I don't know. I will either get bored and do a runner, get sacked again by who knows who, or finally get the money I require and do my big long trip. <coughs> oh dear. But that's going to take a while because I've got to service both my motorbikes and fix all the broken bits on the other one like the panniers and the handlebar guards. But uh, yes, other than that, I've got all the equipment I need apart from spare parts, like another set of tyres. Um, as for getting bored and running off, I doubt that's going to be happening anytime soon with the way things are going. It's just it's constant new information being thrown at me. Uh, well, about 90 to 100 percent of everything that I've done in the last three days has been completely new and unexpected, like finding out where the delivery place is, like today I'm off to Lutterworth, as is nearly all of my deliveries, they're all up north now, not hardly any are down south. Um, then it's getting used to the trucks, because I've got tri-axle trailers, curtain siders, today I've got a reefer, which was supposed to be a class one, but it's now a class two, and I haven't done class two for a little many many years now so I've got to be somewhat careful because the tail swing on this truck is absolutely hideous it swings about like the tail of a fish or a whale <coughs> it's, uh, it's a six by two so it's a bit of a monster the only other rigids I've driven were 15 ton twin axles so they weren't quite as big as this so it's a little bit of a monster so this is just like a bit of a fill-in just to bring you up to date I've got plenty of other videos to uh, be editing on the travel side which at the moment don't seem to be that popular but oh well it's going to be happening, so I'm going to be running off every now and then, so sort of uh, get used to it. What do we want? Turn the limiter off. Oxford. I'm not quite sure where I want. Yeah, I don't know, it'll have to be left then. Because all the others are seven and a half ton weight limits. Forty, yes, that's what we want. But yes, so I'm having quite a lot of new information thrown at me at the minute. So I'm more for the time being going to be concentrating on the job in hand and getting used to things. Because even the class ones, uh, triaxle trailers and sleeper cabs, so I don't have the nice. rear view window and whatnot to keep me safe and help me and the nippiness of twin axles so all the dynamics that I have become used to over the last few years are now completely out the window and even now it's even worse because I've got are rigid and the dynamics are even worse. So I don't know if you saw in the mirror there, I was about three, four feet away from the curb there because I was going around the corner as if it was a uh, an arctic, not a rigid. Now someone did ask me uh, about a month or so ago when I was traveling, uh, if I have an Instagram account, which I don't, 
I've got a Facebook one, but uh, I mostly use that for travelling. And the link for that, I'll put that in, in the description of this video, but I normally just leave it for the travel videos, because that's all it's really relevant to. Um, and yeah, so I post travel stuff there onto the Facebook. As for Instagram, I don't know. No, I suppose I could put truck related stuff on it. Uh, and then that would fill the gap for between videos for truck driving stuff. So, I mean, what? Instagram for truck driving stuff. Facebook for the travel stuff and then YouTube is in the middle where it all comes together as a big melting pot I suppose I don't know that sounds like a plan possibly what do we think it's been a little while since I've driven a Euro 6 Merc and just the last few days I've been driving a Euro 5 one so I'm a little bit confused with the controls but we're getting our head in the game again slowly I need to have a little mini celebration because what I was going to do in the last video before I got rudely interrupted again taking that corner massively wide uh, little mini celebration because I've just had my first video which is how tachographs work part two it's it's past a hundred thousand views. I think it's nearing now a hundred. Oh dear God, a hundred and ten thousand views. It's nearing now. So it's doing pretty well. I think that one video accounts for nearly a sixth of all the total video views I've ever had. Because <laughs> pretty much all my other videos, they barely even manage to get a thousand views normally. And my travel videos are not even getting anywhere near a hundred views but hopefully those will catch on soon and pick up you never know but yeah the mini little fist pump yes I've broke the hundred thousand mark hopefully now though we can get some more variety which means more videos Hopefully, so, I mean, well, curtain siders unexpectedly doing a rigid. Uh, more reefers. There's been talk of tankers uh, and even wagon drags as well, which uh, I don't, uh, I don't know about that. Cause, uh, they're a bit of a handful to reverse. Uh, wagon drags are so I might leave that one for now till a bit later down the line I mean first of all I've just got to concentrate on getting my head around the paperwork and where all the drop-offs and connections are because navigating's a bit of a challenge to some degree especially when you don't know where you're going and on roads that you don't normally go on, I almost never have gone up north. All my stuff has been sort of M4 and south. It's the A-Team van. <laughs> Hopefully this is the way I want to go. It said M1 north. Straight on, M1 North. Ding! That's what we want. But this is awesome. I'm driving down the road with a big smile on my face, like, yeah! It's been years since I've been like that. I've just been stuck in the same old rut. This is what I needed variety and surprises and a shock and a kick up the backside to do something new. So, if this is the way it stays, I am going to be very happy indeed. So, before this video starts getting too long, 
just to summarize, I've done this just to sort of let you know, yes, I'm back, I'm driving, I'm doing stuff, but there's a lot to take in, there's a lot of new stuff, so I'm going to spend a few weeks or so getting my head wrapped around all that before I settle into some sort of schedule. Uh, I've got the rest of the holiday videos to do. Uh, what have we got? One, two, three, four, uh, six or seven more videos for that to be put up. I've got, I'll probably get up sooner rather than later at some point, a uh, things that I see in my travels video. I've got a big load of stuff from Waitrose that I've got to clear out and do and sort. And uh, yeah, once I've got my head wrapped around all of this lot, then we should be able to get some sort of regular thing going on, maybe a bit sooner than once every 1st and 16th. And depending on how everyone feels, maybe put stuff on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll post links to them. Oh, I've got to redo the, uh, the intro as well. Update that to get some other trucks, get rid of the Waitrose stuff since that's not relevant anymore. And the outro, outro, uh, that's, I've already planned that to have some update schedule once every three months, so that'll slowly update itself and get rid of the Waitrose stuff over the next year or so. Uh, but yeah, that is it for now. I'm going to get all of that sorted and try and catch up with myself and work out how everything is going. But other than that, I think that is it. I'm going <coughs> to do this delivery, try and work out what I'm doing after that. I think they said just run back to the depot empty and then I've no idea what I'm doing after that. Just park it over to the side somewhere and see they want, uh, what they want me to do. But other than that, how do I do? Oh, yeah, I forget how I do my the end of my videos. <laughs> I can't remember how I finish it. I think that's it. Yes. Until next time. See you then, or something like that. I don't know. I'll have to watch another video. See how I do it. <laughs> but yeah, see you. See you next.